Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and I have a screen protector. Now I know I don't normally do unboxings and reviews for screen protectors, but this one I thought was pretty special because one one of the biggest impossibilities or frustrations about screen protectors is that it doesn't matter how many times um, I said myself personally have put them on and I've put loads on my iPhone just to uh, try them out and review them and such forth. Something always goes wrong and it can either be that there's a bit of dust on the screen or uh, I might stick it slightly skew if and then I take it off and it loses its stickiness or it gets more dust stuck on there. Um, anyway, whatever happens it generally does not go smoothly and the Perfect Fit Technology screen protector kind of tries to get rid of some of those problems in that it comes with Perfect Fit Technology so it comes with this like plastic applicator if you like whereby you can uh, lay it face down or lay it on top of your iPhone and it fits perfectly first time so at least uh, if your iPhone's clean you can make sure there's no dust and all that kind of stuff on there um, and then you know your, your screen protector is going to be completely straight um, I'm going to open it now this, this is the um, this is the HD one not the and there's two versions there's the HD really this is the really clear one there's also an anti glare one which I did have on my iPhone previously just to test it out um, this is what comes in the kit you can see this uh, plastic frame you rest your iPhone in there um, step one obviously you remove the back adhesive I just want to check this make sure I've clean I you saw me clean the screen there's no grime on there I just want to run this microfiber cloth over um, just to make sure I've I've wiped off all the dust and all the fingerprints and dry it off properly because so I really don't want bubbles now once you're satisfied that your iPhone is completely blemish free you can then go and apply the screen protector now step one you just remove this film and then actually putting putting your screen protector on is as simple as placing your iPhone face down inside this frame you line up the bottom end and you place it down and then you just push it gently you press it down into the applicator tray you turn the tray over while holding the screen protector down with two fingers and then you pull this frame off and then you should be able to just remove the top layer and all is well now you can obviously squeeze some of these bubbles out because you will undoubtedly get some of those and I will work them out now I don't believe it comes with a squeegee card oh hang on there we go I probably should have done this before I actually took the protective tops layer off but none of these bubbles are surrounding dust so I shouldn't have any issues getting rid of them at all and I say that as I struggle to get rid of them there we go they're all pretty much going now there I mean that's just a quick version because this I don't want this video to take ages but you can see that is as simple as anything it's really well placed it's in line pretty much perfectly with all the like the speaker cutout and the camera cutout and the cutout for the home button is all really nicely placed I'll zoom in just so you can see obviously because I'm making a video it's not going to be as perfect as if I was just doing it off camera but um, you can see there there are no dust bits stuck underneath the screen there are no bubbles it's lined up pretty much perfectly you see on the home button there it's really well really well thought out and for $24.95 it's nice that I've got that peace of mind that I know that when I put my screen protector on my iPhone with this perfect fit screen shield it's gonna go on first time and I'm not gonna have to go and spend money on getting another one it's fantastic. It's certainly worth looking at. It's available at perfectfittech.com. I'll leave a link for the product below. You can get them for iPad mini, iPad 4, 3, 2 and all the rest. But I've been Cam. Follow me on Twitter. I'm at TIP underscore Cam and I will see you again soon.